our survey results tell us that we have in Singapore a high awareness of scams. But yet, many Singaporeans do not take adequate measures to protect themselves. We're going to need everyone's help. We need your help because everyone is vulnerable. And that's where we come to you because you are creating content that is relevant and interesting. Do you have the expertise and you have the following to be able to share that information with your followers? Sixty-two-year-old man loses forty thousand in CPF to malware scam. Forty thousand dollars gone. Scary, correct? Today I'm going to talk about scams and what I found out about scams and scammers really quite shocked me. The first shocking thing I realized about scams is that scams actually affect young people more than old people. Last year in 2022, scam victims lost a total of $660 million and more than half the people were actually young adults between 20 to 39 years old. It seems that there is a rise of scammers trying to scam salespeople. The amount of comments inside the video of how many people are getting scammed right, is insane. People say that they are getting scammed by $20,000, $4,000. Money that comes quickly is actually too good to be true. My biggest regret was sitting in the lockup. It was a waste of my two days when I could be doing so much other things. My advice to others is don't be tempted with fast cash. It's not cool to, to earn fast cash knowing that it's not your hard on money. If it's too good to be true, don't believe it. Be aware of scams and not feel too complacent that you will not be scammed. Scam syndicates work as a group to effectively con their scam victims. We have to be careful of these scams, so don't trust these websites so easily. I'd like to leave you with this big rounding point. Scam victims don't just get hit in their wallets, their mental health also suffers. Do scam prevention not only for yourself today, but to all your family members, whether it's teenagers or elderly. This is a long, long fight, ladies and gentlemen, and we're going to have to start right now.